Hey guys, and welcome to yet another Doom Builder tutorial, GZ Doom Builder, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to import custom sprites into your WAD from another WAD. So, the first thing you're going to want to go and do is go File or Control N, create a new map, name it again, whatever you want, and just create the map in hex and format, Doom, GZ Doom, Doom, hex and format and then just save the map, you don't have to put anything in it, this is a map that I've already done this to, I've just saved it as a blank empty map just save it anywhere on your computer, preferably a place where you're going to access it from or use a map that you're going to be importing sprites into after you've done this, you'll literally just want to close it and then we'll go straight off onto importing characters so here I've just sort of head down to a quite popular website f called Realm667 acts as like a sort of news thing for new Doom WADs and forum in a repository so what we're going to do is head over to the repository at the top here and head to well head to any of these um, that you want if they have the option for Doom Style select Doom Style, I'm just going to go to Beast Diary I never know how to pronounce that word Beast Diary, Beast Diary whatever, just find something find the character, or if you already have a character then don't worry about it, but if you don't have a character head on down to here, I'll leave a link to this in the description and literally just press download by clicking one of these tower things at the bottom here, and just wait for it to download, you can the the installing process for this is the same for um, sounds, well, yeah, sounds, special effects, props, items, anything that's on here, the installation's all the same. So once you've done that, we're going to want to head over to a program called Slade. So once you're over in Slade, you're going to want to go and find the file folder where you stored your WAD file. Unless you just drag it out and over into here and just wait for that to load. Once the file is loaded in Slade, uh, you just literally go to your where you've stored all your custom WADs that you've downloaded, um, go to that folder and drag all of the WADs that you want in. So I'm going to grab a couple of things. I'm going to grab a an obstacle, a NPC in effect, and an enemy. And I'll change the obstacle to the corpse pile and just drag all of them on and that loads that. So we're going to start with the crow NPC and we're literally just going to highlight all of this, control C, head back to your map, select select this, that will only say that if your map has nothing in it so don't worry about that and then just hit control V, simple as um, select all of them by clicking the top one, holding down shift and clicking the bottom one to highlight them all without having to hold down control and individually select them now up here there is the move up shortcut, now you can either hit this and it will move it up or you can just hit control U, like I said up there and then to move it down it's just control D and now it's necessary, I mean it's completely imperative that you move these files up above the map1 file and above all of these bottom files here otherwise they they won't work and um... that is literally the same for everything so if I just take the enemy now I will then put this at the top so every new program goes straight to the top. I'm just going to make sure this hasn't SSD start yet. So the end for this is here. Does this have any sounds in? Nope. The end for this is here. Now, having nothing in the map, it is probably good to create a couple of sectors in the map since, you know, it creates a load of errors with saving and not being able to save it can make it a bit difficult to import the files so 
So what you're going to want to do is, <coughs> after you import each um, each of the objects or enemies that you want to import, save it and then import the next one. So that um, it highlights the new one that you've imported green so you can see which files you need to move up and which files you don't. So, an example, I'll just now put in the corpse file. Hit control V. As you can see, it just highlights all the new files green, so I know which ones to move up. And I hit Control S, and they'll just go grey again. And that's literally it. And then after this, all you want to do is quickly head back into GZ Doom Builder. And now, once you're here, you're just going to want to open your map. So Control O, Map O1. Okay. Now, despite what I said before. Um, and I said don't make anything in the map, ignore that because that was what was making all those errors pop up before. Now if you get errors in the corner here, a lot of the time you can just ignore them, but sometimes they'll be like missing parts of the uh, in the actors decorate file. And basically all it is is an actor number and if it's missing an actor number, you can just put it in yourself. Um, numbers can only be between, uh, I think it's 1 and 32,000. Anything above 32,000 and it won't work with it. So just clear all that. And now if you go into Things mode and just right click. I'll throw in the player start. Facing that way, sorry. Bit of me being nitpicky. Now you see there's a new folder at the bottom now called Decorate. If you open this, this will have all the crows in it from where I <coughs> imported these. And if you're lucky enough, some of the enemies, or some of the monsters, like the people who made the monster or the custom file, will have been kind enough to categorize it under one of these files. I'm not sure if they did it for the monster that I used because no they didn't but not to worry um, there are plenty of other monsters you can use that will work but as you can see it's the same process for all of them the other thing I've installed I think the main problem with the reason that the objects aren't really appearing is mainly due to the fact that they don't have actor models so if we just quickly head back in if we just save this and close it and head back into here uh, just close that and reopen it because I've updated it recently so here is the um, body pile so it doesn't have an actor number so literally what I do is 31,111 I can't count, that's 33,111 just hit save there and control SL here and now find the other thing that wouldn't load was the um, Chioch and you literally just throw in another one another actor number if you just hit control S whilst you're in decorate by the way it will save out here as well and now if we just head on back into doom builder hit control O open the map hit OK and go into things mode ignoring all of those errors now if we go to decorate there's our monster so I'm kind of glad I had the error because it gave me a chance to show you how to fix it. And there's our corpse pile. And the same applies for custom weapons as well by the way, but I've shown you how to install it so that you'll know how to do. Now if I just throw in the BFG so I stand some form of chance. Maybe a super short shotgun. And maybe a bit of ammo. And then I will test this and show you that it does actually work. Alright, let's hit F9 to jump into the game. I'm testing it.
not in full screen, that's good. Now as you can see, the crow kind of didn't turn up, but... That is a fixable error. Um, basically, the thing with the crow's file, if you just head into Slade... Oh, for God's sake. And just find the crow's decorate file. Some of them have back to numbers, yet yeah, not all of them do, because there are several different actors for the crows. Or at least that's what I found when I first installed it, unless they've updated it and fixed it. There's a certain crow type that doesn't work, and then there's another one that doesn't have an actor number, but either way, if you have a file with multiple actor definitions like this one, it might be an idea to check through to make sure all of the actors have actor numbers because if one of them doesn't and it can sometimes muck up the rest as the rest might use that one that doesn't have an actor number if that made any sense whatsoever so I'm literally just going to head back to here and try... oh that's why the crew didn't turn up I for some reason put two player starts what a knob so we'll select one that will wanders around and run that again and now we have a crow that flies around And that is that. I'll th thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video useful and not really too boring or irritating. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.